I would like now to, now to introduce the father of the bride, Carl Fawcett, mm -hmm. for a speech. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> More of a toast than a speech. <laughs> I've prepared a metaphor for my children. I call them both that now. This is a vessel that represents your life. And just as, if, just as time itself is finite, so is this jar. And it's very important that you be careful how you choose to fill it. The large stones represent the things that sustain you, the things that are the most important that they go into the jar first. This could be, for example, quality time right here for just the two of you. Also, time to be alone. Also, uh, time to uh, develop yourself or your hobbies or your interests. Uh, perhaps going back to school, your uh, uh, extended degree program and so on, continuing education credits. They have to go in the jar first or they'll never make it. The medium sized stones, well, we all have these. By the plentiful, these are tasks and jobs and they constitute exactly that. Um, the, the job you have to go to, the PTA meeting you have to go to, the social organization that you have to go to, and um, probably a few of these. Yep, there's kids, there's another kid, there's another kid, there's kids. And they will take up your time like there's no tomorrow just as well. And finally, just when you think your, the, your life is full, come the micro tasks, which are represented here by the grains of sand. And as surely as there are sand, uh, the sand will fill every void in every niche. In this case, the grains of sand represent, uh, you're out of milk, you gotta go get some. Right, you're out of gas, you gotta go get some. Uh, you need to shovel the snow, again. You need to mow the lawn, again. The moral of the metaphor, the moral of the story, is that if you don't put the things that truly matter, the things that truly sustain you, in your life first, You'll never get them in your life later because the tasks, the jobs, and the micro tasks will fill your vessel. There'll be no time for those things that matter. Love you both.